Hi everyone, this is Charlie Veach, or shall I call myself, this is Charles Veach. This is my first rant in the age of Charles, or if you want to be official about it, the Carolean age. Carol, Carl, Charles, Carolean age, that's what we're in, the third Carolean age. Now, as I've been saying in the last couple of days with the death of our Queen, um, God save the King and all that, um, I really liked the Charles speech the, his first speech to the nation since he became king, I think he did really well. Really, really good. Well done, Charlie. As uh, your namesake, I approve. And he talked of duty, but above all, he talked about love and freedom. Freedom, free speech, freedom that our great-grandparents or grandparents and anyone up until the recent conflict in Afghanistan and Iraq gave, sacrificed themselves. Sacrificed, as is fundamental to the Western Christian Beautiful vision, sacrifice themselves so that we can all be free. So, as I said on my rant the other day, I don't care if I get banned off YouTube. The world's bigger than YouTube. The world's bigger than me getting my shekels from YouTube. I've had offers from other places. I've even had offers from Russian YouTube types. And they tell a good fucking story. I'll tell you why they tell a good story. They say, Charlie, and they're writing to me, whatever, An Anastasia, or Vlad and fucking the office in Moscow. They're saying, we'll never censor you. Every video is going to get monetized. It can be grown-up videos. You can talk about stuff. You can use copyrighted music. We're not going to fucking trouble you. And you can call a man a man. You can call a woman a woman. You can say a woman is a biological female human with XY chromosomes and a natural vagina that doesn't have to be dilated every day with a glass rod because on the... Did I say XX? I, XX. Did I fuck up? Rewind. If I fucked up, I meant XX for women. Shit! Anyway, carrying on. An XY lab-created vagina is nothing but an open wound. It's not a vagina. They have issues with the hair follicles developing hair on the inside. So it's kind of like a vagina dentata. But instead of dent de dentata... It's literal spiky hair follicles. And when you shave your hair, the tip of the hair gets very rough because you're shaving it. So next time you're thinking that a transgender woman is a woman, it's not. Women don't have spiky man vaginas that seize up and uh, heal if you don't stick a glass rod in it. Whoa, where the fuck are we going? Oh, I know where we're going. The Russians. The Russians are like, hey... And then I was like, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not really happy with what you're doing to the Yukis, to the Yukis in the Ukraine. Speaking of the Ukraine, they're doing fucking well, the Ukrainians. Of course it helps when the CIA are giving you ultra-accurate coordinates for your ultra-accurate rocket systems that the CIA gave you. And uh, all you have to do is put in the coordinates and press a button and you've wiped out half a Russian division. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh, but the Russians shouldn't have invaded Ukraine. But it actually opens up a deeper issue, doesn't it? That uh, the people dying in the Ukraine, they're not the Russian elite. They are poor Russians, young, ignorant Russians who should be at home impregnating their wives and having beautiful Russian babies to deal with the Russian birth rate, which... Uh, when you look at the Russian birth rate, you're like, surely this is a mistake. The population can't be decreasing that quickly. And what does Putin do? Instead of saying, put your penis in Putin vagina, Putin gets men and puts in Ukraine. And they die by the tens of thousands. Even normal estimates. I know in war, it's all propaganda. We have killed a million Russians. No, but even the kind of MOD, the MI6, they're saying, look, it looks like between 40 to 50,000 Russians have died trying to take over Ukraine. That's almost as many servicemen that died. Americans, 58,000 Americans died in Vietnam. And that was what, five years, six years, four years? In six months, Russia's lost as many men. And this is modern days, 2022, with improved tactics, armor mechanized fucking divisions, you know, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's modern, less people die in bulk 
in the modern era until you're a Russian general and then you just send all the Sergeys, the Vlads and the Borises. I love that we had the Prime Minister with the Russian name. Very funny. But uh, you send the Sergeys into the into the killing fields of Kharkiv. Or, um, yeah, do the Russians call it Kharkov and then the Ukrainians call it Kharkiv? Kind of like Kiev versus Kyiv. Kyiv? Kyiv? Hamoud Habibi, Hamoud, Hamoud Habibi. Hope someone gets the Hamoud Habibi reference. But yeah, the age of Charles, a man in a dress is still a man. Transgender women are men, deep down. And whether I will use the pronouns that they ask, um, I'll do it on an individual basis. When the Western governments literally made a mental illness into a protected characteristic. They uh, put a red clown nose on, they put a rainbow wig on, and they started honking on a weird bicycle around the circus arena. Like, what the fuck are you doing? What the actual fuck are you doing? There is no such thing. There is no such thing as teaching children that a man in makeup with a estrogen enhanced man chest with a scar tissue inverted penis vagina that will literally heal up if you stop fucking it every day with a glass dildo. There's no world I'm living in where we say, oh yeah, that's a woman. Exactly. You're a bigot, son. You're a bigot unless you get the feminine penis in your mouth. And then we read things that, uh, it turns me, I can feel myself becoming Muslim. The Mujahideen, I, I feel myself going on jihad. When I go onto YouTube and there's, these are real videos, not, not irony, saying having a genital preference is bigotry. And straight men who refuse to date a transgender woman are committing a hate crime. So you might want nice peachy vagina. You instead get estrogen shriveled penis. And those uh, beautiful ejaculations you do um, inside the hole, they're uh, not going to make babies. You're not going to surf to infinity. You're not going to ride the event horizon between objectivity, subjectivity, the void and infinity, which is why we have kids. Why we have kids, kids. That's why we have kids, kids. Some people can't see the bigger picture. We're all aiming towards infinity. We're all trying to live forever. We're all trying to match the background universe, the matrix, God. And uh, you're not going to have beautiful children um, coming in a, a man's inverted penis, um, hairy vagina, that's uh, going to seize up unless you glass dildo it every other day. Um, this is Charlie Veach. This is uh, the Age of Charles rant. Um, and yeah, enough is enough. Enough skirting around the truth about how we feel you're right, not those fuckers on TV, you, you're right, your grandparents were right, your great-grandparents were right. Those men that signed up to go fight Hitler, they were right. Not these butchers who uh, prescribe amputation and disemboweling to gay kids. Let's be honest here. That's what they're doing, aren't they? They're, they're sterilizing gay kids, putting them in a dress and saying you're the opposite sex now. No. I end this with no. The TV, the, 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 the this and that, the LGTV 4K people, the, they're going to go, N -n 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 -n, and you just go, no. No. They're like, we're going to teach your kids that you, you just go, no. You're not. <laughs> Men have gone to war over lesser things, and uh, yeah, in the immortal words of Mike Tyson, men and women have gotten away with saying shit, which in the past would have got you punched in the face. I'm not advising you to punch anyone in the face, 
but all you need to say is one of the simplest words in the English language. No. This is Charlie Beach. Thanks for watching.